marvelously wealthy Amanda Bartholomew prepares for an evening at the local discotheque by wearing the world-famous talisman tiara. Suddenly... My tiara! I have the talisman tiara, and Batfink will be accused of the crime, or my name isn't... Hugo Ogogo, the mad scientist. Ta-da! Batfink, the talisman tiara was just stolen by a pair of gloves. That sounds like the work of Hugo Ogogo, Chief. I'm on my way. No, Batfink, I'm on my way to arrest you. They were your gloves. What? Batfink? I'll testify that your gloves haven't left the cave all day. I've got to get Hugo a go-go before the police get me. My supersonic sonar radar will help me. My electronic gloves will help me. Batfink, they are your gloves, size five and one half. Follow those gloves. Follow that battle act. Right into my trap, just as I planned. He's in there. You wait here, Karate. Oh, so you want to fight, eh? All right, put him up. <coughs> you know, for gloves, you're pretty fast on your feet. I've got you at last, Hugo Agogo, and I will get your evil gloves, too. You insulted my gloves. They challenge you to a duel. A gentleman must accept the challenge. We will meet tomorrow morning at dawn. That thing, you will have no protection from your wings of butter. You mean my wings of steel? Oh, but this plutonium blade will go through them like butter. Crime fighting is dangerous. Now disarmed and helpless, will Batfink get the point at last? Your batteries are dead, you go a go go. But how did you? Simplicity itself. Karate mistakenly thought the number five and a half inside the glove was its size. I knew it was the amperage of B-17 batteries, which last for exactly 12 hours. It is now 12 hours and 52 seconds. You tricked me into waiting until dawn. I finally caught up with you, Batfink. Your gloves are under arrest. No, Chief. My gloves are innocent. Those are the guilty imposters. How do you put gloves behind bars? You don't. You lock them up in your glove compartment. The quiet of a peaceful block is suddenly disturbed by a strange sight. Fishing in the street. It's Sporty Morty. What could he be fishing for? Ah! A necklace? You should have seen the one that got away. You better come out before I count three. One, two, three. That's not sporty, Morty. 
And I call that making a sport of crime. The hotline. Bat Fink here. Bat Fink? Sporty Morty is at it again. Karate, the battle act. to locate Sporty Morty. My supersonic sonar radar will help me. Morty may have won the first point, Karate, but I'll soon even the score. Wait here. Two against one isn't sporting. Sporty Morty is quite a hunter, but this time the hunter is being hunted. And the hunted is hunting the hunter. You walk right into my trap, Patrick. You didn't use your head. But I will. I'm going to mount it on that plot. Your bullets cannot harm me. My wings are like a shield of steel. I know. That's why I'm using an elephant gun. This bullet will penetrate anything. Wait. I don't remember if bats are in season. Yes, an elephant gun never forgets. Shoot and get it over with. A gentleman sportsman never shoots a target that isn't moving. Our hero dangles helplessly from the rope as Sporty Morty tracks him with deadly aim. Has Bat Thing finally reached the end of his rope? Hey, don't be a spoiled sport. You are supposed to be moving. Then I'll move. That Frank's in trouble. <laughs> he was a bad sport, but he makes a good trophy. <laughs> 